In today's news, a UN investigation has confirmed sarin nerve gas was used in an attack on civilians in August. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has not identified who was responsible for the attack, but he is urging the Security Council to impose serious consequences. And authorities investigating the shooting spree at Washington's Navy Yard says only one man was responsible. Aaron Alexis was fatally shot by police, ending his rampage, which claimed 12 victims and left eight others injured. 600 people remain unaccounted for in the U.S. state of Colorado. Clearer weather has allowed aerial search and rescue missions to resume after days of torrential rain destroyed more than 1,500 homes and damaged a further 17,000. The death toll from the floods has risen to seven. In local news, the Ministry for Primary Industries has announced new conditions for the snapper catch. The daily bag limit for recreational fishes is down to 7 snapper and the size threshold is now 30 centimetres. However, the total allowable catch limit has been increased for both recreational and commercial sectors. New Labour leader David Cunliffe says his party now has a formidable economic team. David Parker has been reconfirmed reconfir as deputy leader and will retain his finance role, while leadership contenders Shane Jones and Grant Robertson take on the portfolios for economic development and employment, respectively. In other changes, Sue Maroney and Ian Lees Galloway replace Chris Hipkins and Darian Fenton as whips. David Cunliffe says some staff in the leader's office will lose their jobs and they'll find out within the next 24 to 48 hours. The government plans to have the largest state-owned asset on the market by the end of next month. Details of Meridian Energy's partial asset sale have been released and shares are scheduled to go on sale by October the 29th. The government is also offering what's effectively an interest-free loan to anyone who buys shares in Meridian, including foreign companies. The Prime Minister maintains 85 to 90 percent of shares will still go to Kiwis. Offer documents should become available this Friday. And there'll be five new charter schools in the new year, two destined for Northland and three in Auckland. Albany will be the site of a military academy, while South Auckland gets a Pacific Academy and a Christian school. There will be two new Maori secondary schools in Northland. And finally, Pope Francis has called for a warmer welcome to divorcees who remarry. Currently, Catholics who wed a second time are not allowed to receive Holy Communion. The Pope says the faithful should feel at home in their parishes and be treated with justice. Well, those are the headlines for Tuesday, the 17th of September, Mauriora.